Okay, hello everybody. Today is May 19th. It's almost 7 a.m. in the morning. Yesterday on May the 18th, I had a dream that I totally forgot about. when I. It was very, very real when I was having it. And then when I woke up, I totally forgot about it. And then I had one other little dream that I decided to just go ahead and write down. And while I was writing, I remembered that I had this dream too. So I'm going to read this, what I wrote. It says, um, okay. It says, I don't remember much about this dream. But everything was about to change and get very, very bad. And I was telling some people, I think they hated Trump. These people hated Trump. Um, I don't think they did. They hated Trump. Okay. It says, I think they hated Trump that they were going to wish I told them these people that hated Trump I said you are going to wish for the things that Donald Trump was talking about I said this seemed like it would be undeniable so when I said that you're going to wish for Donald Trump and it was like Things were going to get so bad that they would actually be able to see that what they chose was bad. Let me finish reading this. It says, this seemed like it would be undeniable. And knowing what we've done is a turn toward evil that cannot be undone until the end of the world. So then I also said to them um, that I was saying people should have respected the president. But that didn't count for Biden or Obama. We should not respect that. But people should have respected the president. That's, I said that in this dream. And I've never like, felt that way about Trump. And to be sure... Listen, I was not a Donald Trump supporter. I never voted for Donald Trump, never advocated Donald Trump. Matter of fact, I had dreams that he was a Mason. Um, I did have one dream where he had considered being a Christian, but he decided against it because his God was money. Then later on, I started uh, <clears throat> having a different dream in my dream he, this one dream, he was from Mexico. He was addressing the American people from Mexico. And he was telling them, warning people, that um, the Catholic Church was now in control of the world, warning us that the Pope and the Catholic Church had um, undermined everything and were in control of the world, running the world. So I also had a dream he was a Mason. I think I said that. And as you know, there are all levels of members of the Masons. Whether people know it or not, if you're in any type of secret society, at some level on that in that secret society, whether it's lateral or if it's at the tippy top, it is associated with Freemasonry because it is the head of all secret societies. And they do not disclose to, um, they do not disclose all the secrets to all the people because it is a pyramid. It is a pyramidal structure. And the people above, people below them, take advantage of those people. So they don't let you in on um, 
the secrets and the things that are going on if you're in a in a category or a level below them you have to be picked or earn your way up to higher levels so the people under in the under levels the the first degrees they just <clears throat> they they're like foot soldiers in the army they just do what they're told they they put guns in their hands and this is a metaphor obviously they put guns in their hands and tell them who to shoot that's what they do when you're a private in the army the people above you put a gun in your hand and tell you who to shoot and that's as deep as it goes and people are in these groups for all different sorts of reasons some people do it for economic connections some people know very well it's evil and it's generation on generation of people who who are in it friends get their friends in it cuz you have to be recommended and you have to be sponsored into it so um I dreamed that Donald Trump was that and you you won't find people at the highest levels of society who aren't There's a little town that I pass through on my way to work and there's a Masonic lodge right there on the street right right there there down the main street of that little town and I saw the people the men I saw a woman go in too putting on his coat looking like he had on his Sunday best going to the meeting crossing the street looked like a regular joe a regular man so many of those people do not know that this is a satan worshiping organization and it it can masquerade as whatever you think it is but what it does is recruit you into the schemes of evil and it could be as little as telling you who to vote for. I know some women that are in a sorority and their sorority caused them to get vaccinated. Because that was the thing to do in the sorority. Oh, you can't come to the meetings if you don't get vaccinated. They um the Camilla Harris is a member of that sorority. So they take a great deal of pride in her. And they were all getting out the vote for Biden. So this is the way these things influence large numbers of people from the top down. So it could be the reason why I dream that about Trump and that sort of this metamorphosis over time where he regretted having betrayed the american people and going along it was like he didn't realize his role that the role that he was playing if you remember woodrow wilson was instrumental in the creation of the federal reserve and income tax not realizing he did it for you know whatever they paid him off or whatever reasons why he did it then after it was all said and done and he realized the way that he had been um instrumental in actually destroying the country and and Donald Trump I do believe from my dreams that that is the way it has been that he allowed himself to be used he knew he was being used but in in 2021 our country really came to no longer exist when um when that election went forth and obama and biden got back in office that w- that really was the end 
So it's funny that I had that dream. Um, so I, I think I had a friend, I want to say this. I had a friend when I was in college and she was dating a guy and the guy broke up with her and started dating another girl. They went to a rival university. That was not even 30 minutes away from, from our school. So we ran into them, me and my friend, who was one of my housemates. Um, we ran into her ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend, who was like homecoming queen of their university or something like that. We ran into them at a local, like a popular drugstore that everybody used to go to. And when my friend saw him with this girl, she just lost it in a jealous rage. She followed them around the store. Um, just ranting and raving. Insulting him, insulting the girl. And just, it was bad. And I think before that, yeah, before that, she just went crazy when he broke up with her, let's put it like that. And we went over to his apartment and his roommate, not knowing what was going on, let her in and she went and like ransacked through his room and I'm there just like, oh my goodness, what's going on? So after she did all that, made the big scene in the drugstore and all that, it doesn't help anything, obviously. So then she was talking to my brother on the phone because my brother at that time was saved. And she, before she went away to college, was saved. And I remember her being on the phone and I had never really been saved, not really. Um, and she said, she said to my brother, she was in tears and she said to my brother, she said, I let the devil use me. She said, I let the devil use me. She was really crying. And I didn't really understand that. Th those two understood it because they had walked with the Lord and knew what it was like to lose it. But I could not relate to that, to be where you disappointed yourself and you disappointed the Lord and let down your witness and all that stuff. So, and the devil... My brother also said this one time, that the devil will take you farther than you wanted to go, keep you there longer than you wanted to stay. And let me see, how did that go? The devil will, whatever it was, if you, if you go along with the devil, you, you thinking you about to do this little bit of something. But he's going to take you farther than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and so and one other thing I can't remember. But you get in, you get it. So you are never going to come on top when you try to make a deal with the devil. You're never going to come out on top. He always has something deeper and sinister, more sinister than what you planned on doing. You might have thought you were going to go have a um, a one night stand or or hit one more joint or whatever. And the devil have you out on a six month six month drug binge. That's what he had planned. You you had planned just to dip your toe in the water. And then he he's plans to pull you in and drag you under and drown you if he can. So Whatever Donald Trump thought he was going to do, you know, a, a little bit of selling out, a, a little bit of fakery, going along with the, um, with the ruse that is politics. But instead, he, he really was used to just unhinge the country, saying all those um, divisive things and, and all the stuff that he did. But I can't say he probably thought it was harmless, but... I don't believe that he thought that he was going to do what it has done. We are destroyed. We are destroyed. 
when Biden got back in office, oh, we are destroyed. To the point where people are going to realize at some point, maybe just Christians, lukewarm Christians, I don't even know, realize that the things that the conservatives were talking about were true and that they were right. And just because they weren't perfect people, um, it doesn't mean that they were wrong. And how far out of the box the Democrats are and the these liberal ideas, what trash they are. No, I'm not saying that the people are trash, but the ideas. We, we obviously want everybody to wake up and come to repentance. But these conservative ideas, they have been made to sound old-fashioned and all that stuff. And, and, and you think that these are people trying to hold on to racist ideas. And um, that's not the case. That is not the case. You cannot elect a black man to be president in a racist nation. You can't. All that stuff is over. Racism is, is, is not and should not be the dividing line. Because all of us know bad black people. And all of us know evil white people and evil of any color. So I thought it was interesting that I had that dream about Donald Trump yesterday. Because, and it reminded me to make a video about it because I saw something about um, some guy concedes. Yeah, this it says, Cawth Cath what is this? Cawthorn concedes. Republican Madison Cawthorn has lost re-election. Now, I have no idea who he is. This is Queen City News. Let's see who he is. And we can take... Okay, so this is some, this clicks on to some election result, results. So what city is this? What country? I mean, what state? Queen City News, Republican Matt lost the, his District 11 seat and just before 10 p.m. Tuesday, he, he seceded, conceded. Uh, oh, North Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, wow. I don't know who this guy is. I salute you, citizens of North Carolina, for putting America back on the right track. Thank you, and God bless you. God bless America. Does this mean that the next time he gets caught boarding an airplane carrying a weapon, he'll be arrested like regular folks? So he, had, so he believes in gun rights, obviously. So things are about to get really, really bad. Things are about to get really, really bad. And see, this is just what I suspected. Here's another thumbnail and title. It says, new, Trump endorses California Kevin Kiley for U.S. Congress. So what I really think that that dream ultimately means, this is just what I think. And I see right next to all of these guys that are the right embraces the right's embrace of racism replaces mm, the rights, meaning the, the conservatives, em, embrace of racist replacement theory is both dangerous and dumb. Okay, so this is late night with Seth Meyer saying that. So what I think that this dream means is that Trump was um, kind of the um, poster guy for, for Republicans. They were all running under his banner. Oh no. Oh no. They, they were all running under his banner. And um, I 
So the rejection of him and the rejection of conservative values, mostly represented under the Republicans, and in representation of the people who supported those candidates on the principles of trying to salvage what was left of the freedoms that we had and this nation as a place with Christian values is all going up in smoke. And what we're going to replace it with is going to be just like that one dream I had, disastrous takeover. It was communism, a disastrous takeover. The commies are coming. And I know that sounds very cliche because it's, it's been made mockable, but it really is just the way it is. It is what is happening. And communist has, communism has not, not been good for any nation. And the only reason why you see some people in China seeming to be prosperous is because they had to actually back off of communism because their economy was so bad. Because it's, it's, it's like, um, like any government office, anything the government runs is wasteful, it's inefficient, it is it's ill-serving to the citizens that it's supposed to represent. So they actually have to back off of it to keep the people from completely rebelling. But once they're in total control, and ironically, that will happen when we have no guns, then you'll see who they really are. And then you'll see what this system really is. It is they do what they want, and you just go along and do whatever you're told. Like there's a quote that says, you will have nothing and you'll like it. And you'll like it because you ain't gonna have any choice. It's just gonna be the way it is. It's not gonna be anybody to complain to. Because the same, same people we keep empowering with more and more and more control to fix our petty problems, like I don't want anybody to call me names. We want to make up, we, there's a hate crime. Special, special punishments for a hate crime. Because you don't want your feelings hurt. You're going to empower a government that has never been before. So I think that the reason why I dreamed that was because this rejection of these last Republican candidates is, is, is going to be the full overturning of the Republican Party and having it completely dismissed as um, racist. And who cares about the Republican Party? It's not of God. It's not. No politics is of God. The, the point of it is, is the people, the people, that the Republican Party was appealing to. Their mindsets, their way of life, and them themselves are also going to become as hated as the Republican Party. This is going to be like uh, the old way is going to be categorized as simply as saying, oh, the old racist South. And that's a whole nother discussion. Racism is a distraction from the devil. This is spiritual. It's about your soul. I also had a dream years ago, maybe not years ago, but maybe 2017, where people, they're, their religion, I don't know how long ago it was, but people's, people's politics were their religion. I think it was in 2016. People's politics was their religion. Anyway, enough. That's what I dreamed. 
that people were going to wish for Donald Trump. They were going to wish for him. Or I was saying that to some people. And they should have had more respect for, for at least the office, office of the presidency. What's going to come to be now is nothing of anything you could recognize of this country. Nothing. 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 We had a chance to go back and be a Christian nation. And through lies and propaganda, and these people really turning to Trump instead of turning to God, turning to politics in, instead of turning to prayer. But because this is the time, and this is it, and this is what's going to be. Get ready, because it's not going to get any better until the Lord comes back. It's about to get very, very dark. God bless.